integrate the hyperbolic secant of x. Let's try it. Solution. So this problem is from one of the uh, MIT uh, Integration B qualifying uh, exams. So I am thinking that um, we know that the hyperbolic secant of x is 1 over the hyperbolic cosine of x. And so we know that the hyperbolic cosine of x, that's the average of e to the x and e to the negative x. So you add them up and divide by 2. So um, hyperbolic secant, you just flip this. So this should be equal to 2 over e to the x plus e to the negative x dx. So that, I think, might be a good first step. So to integrate this, um, I think we could do a trick. We can multiply by 1 in a clever way to get rid of the e to the negative x. So let's try multiplying by e to the x over e to the x. A lot of times if you do this in these problems where you have like e's in the numerator and e's in the denominator, it works. Sometimes it doesn't work and then you realize, oh wait, that wasn't the best idea. So then you try something else. Um, let's see what happens. I think it looks good. So 2 times e to the x is just 2 times e to the x. Boom, there it is. In the denominator, e to the x times e to the x, you add the x's, right? So you do x plus x, so you get, you get 2x. And then e to the x times e to the negative x, they cancel, so you just get 1. And then dx. Yeah, this works. This is going to work for us because we can write this as 2 e to the x over, and then we can write it as 1 squared plus e to the x quantity squared. Um, so the reason is e to the x squared is the same thing as e to the 2x. And now we can use a formula that gives us an arctangent. So recall if you have um, dx over a squared plus x squared, that's equal to 1 over a arctan x over a plus c. So the goal is to use this formula now. And we can do that by making a preliminary substitution on the e. So we'll let u be equal to e to the x. So then du becomes uh, e to the x dx. And there's a 2 missing, so we can multiply both sides by 2 if we really want to be perfect. So now this is precisely what we have uh, in the integrand, right? And so now we can make our substitution. It's going to become the integral of 2 du over 1 squared plus u squared. And now we can use our very cool formula. So this is going to be 2, because the 2 hangs out, times 1 over a, so 1 over 1, arc tangent, so we have our arc tangent, of u over 1, so I'll write u over 1, plus our arbitrary constant of integration. So this is equal to 2 arctangent of u, and u was e to the x. And we still have our plus c. And that's it. Kind of a cool problem. Um, I had always, I, not always wondered, but I had never worked this out before, so it's kind of nice to see uh, how to do it. So that's how you integrate uh, the hyperbolic uh, secant of x. I hope that made sense.